inheritance to attend to. I have to find the heir. And you hope you will find him here? I'm not altogether sure. But you see, my train broke down coming into Barakstadt Station. In that case, my dear, you must come to one of my lectures. Uh, here's a question for you. <laughs> Do you know what the Probosidian Order is? The probo -whatian? Ah, you see. There are gaps in your knowledge that need refreshing. She's not a... I feel I've lost my way a little here. I could really do with your help. Oh, my dear child, you've chosen your moment. I absolutely must finish off my lecture for this afternoon. It's a lecture about mammoths? Oh, yes and no. More specifically, it is about their migration. Do excuse me, I need to concentrate. To tell you the truth, I'm looking for Mr. Hans Varlberg. He's the sole heir of a very unusual factory. My company is in charge of negotiations for the takeover of this factory. Uh, at last word, he was living in Siberia. So, as soon as my train is ready, I'll be continuing my journey eastwards. Siberia. Ah, Siberia. But what was it you said again? Said what? You mentioned a name. The person you are looking for. Varlberg. Hans Varlberg. Do you know him? Hans Vorlberg. How could I forget him? Such an extraordinary fellow. So inventive. We shared a passion for mammoths, you know, and we bonded over this passion. Without it, I confess, I would have had little to do with an odd, ageless retard like Hans. At the time, we were both students. Well, sort of. Put it this way. Hans had special permission to attend paleontology lectures. You see, he didn't really have the necessary qualifications. In exchange, Hans did a few odd jobs around the university. Your Hans Varlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking for. I'm not sure, my dear. Hans was above all questions of money and business. Just to imagine him running a factory, <laughs> perish the thought. Can you tell me a little bit more about him? He was always a mystery to me. He never said very much, and never quite seemed to grasp what you said to him. He expressed himself instead through his incredible mechanical contraptions. His inventions, I admit, have been much appreciated by the university. The few times we really did talk, it was about his strange interest for mammoths and a doll. Some sort of doll that obsessed him. A doll, you say? Yes. He kept talking about it. One day he described it to me. A sort of children's toy. A miniature mammoth mounted by a mount. It appears he found it in a cave not far from his home. The event all sounds very dramatic. His account was slightly confused, but it awoke a great interest in me. What do you mean? To my knowledge, there was only one tribe who made figurines featuring a mount, and that tribe is the Yukols. They live in the farthest reaches of Siberia, and for them, the dolls constituted a sacred object, illustrating one of their central legends, how such a doll made the journey from the frozen Siberian north to a cave in the French Alps is a mystery to me. Even today, it is beyond my comprehension. Have you considered that Hans Varlberg was maybe making it up? You said yourself he didn't seem to have all his mental facilities intact. No, that's impossible. Hans couldn't invent the story like that. The doll is a sacred part of the Siberia legend. He described it to me in exact detail. Siberia itself is a chimera that paleontologists of the world are very fond of pursuing. Arriving in Barakstadt is an amazing experience. I've never seen such a station. Uh, you came by train? Yes, in a kind of clockwork train with a spring mechanism that winds down. Regularly. You mean you drive a train? Young ladies of today never cease to amaze me. Oh, no. I'm not the engineer. The train's engineer is actually an automaton. I am sorry. All this probably sounds very strange. A clockwork train? Driven by an automaton? I once knew a man long ago who could have invented such a train. It was he who designed the bandstand in the main square. Ah, to think that he was even capable of creating such a gadget. 
He was astounding, a true genius. But oddly, at the same time, he was also almost a child. It was as if his mental and physical evolution had definitively halted at the age of ten. Can you believe that? Uh, yes. I think I can believe that. At least I'm beginning to. Yeah. My train stopped in a peculiar aviary. It's very odd. A lot of bird species seem to seek harbor there. Ornithology is far from being my favorite subject, but I must concede that the station is the pride of the university. It was initially intended for teaching purposes, but then birds started arriving from all around the world. <laughs> it seems that there are still rare species breeding there and flourishing. Are there? Can you give me an example? Hmm. I have been told about a kind of bird with peculiar habits. Let's see now, the, uh, the Amazon cuckoo, that's right. But, uh, oh, I'm so foolish, I can't remember what was so special about it. Just that its behavior is very peculiar. The Amazon? Where's the Amazon? What is the Amazon? I'm sorry, my dear, but one cannot learn everything in a lifetime. Specialization is the key to real knowledge. I mean, why don't you pay a visit to our library? Thank you very much. If I were to say Forest Sauvignon to you, what would you say? Oh, let's see. Sauvignon. Sauvignon? I would say it's some kind of tropical shrub, don't you think? We are talking about the same plant, then. It is a very rare shrub with small, juicy fruits. I found a book about the Amazon, and it says that there are even Sauvignon plants growing right here in Barrickstadt. You wouldn't know where, would you? Mm, Amazon Sauvignon plants here? No. No, I don't think there are any. Highly implausible. But uh, you should ask the station master. He is keeper of the greenhouse at our university, so he could tell you more than me. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, Professor, uh, how do I say this? You see... I didn't think I'd need a lot of money when I set out. And it turns out I need money after all. It's a delicate matter, I know, but I was wondering if you could help me out. My dear, it would be a pleasure. But you see, I barely have enough myself to cover my meager expenditure on what I'm paid by the university. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend or... However, if we look at the example of Hans... It is true that our university always rewards people who perform some service for it. This is our dear rector's jurisdiction, however. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. All right. We evidently need to go back to... He lied to us. Uh, here? Or is it here? Is it here? I guess it doesn't matter which way I enter. Decided to stop. All right, which way we gotta go? I don't remember where that guy went. Using the train as a shortcut to get to the other side.
my mouse keeps exiting the, uh, the screen. in one big circle. There he is. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Have you been the station master of Baruchstadt for a long time? I've never had another job. Now, you tell me, are you in charge of this train? No, I mean, I'm not sure. So what's your thing here? You come here to do some bookworming over at the university? Well, sort of. I'm always looking for new information. Hmm, <laughs> well, you don't seem to know a lot. And about that train, it's gonna get in the way if you leave it there, that's for sure. In fact, I'm a lawyer and I'm conducting a pretty unusual investigation. Investigation, huh? Uh, hey, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm just a station master. I, I don't know too much about anything. Well, you never know. Anybody could be significant in this case. See, uh, nobody actually tells me anything, so my hands are totally clean. I never implied they weren't. I've just been to see the rectors, and they told me to get the train out of the station as quick as I can. Uh, I thought they'd say that. Rules are rules, and you gotta stick by them. Not a good idea to get into trouble with the university administration. A absolutely. I've got enough worries as it is. What should I do then? Well, uh, I suggest you move your train. But it's like I say, the springs are unwound. Everyone seems to think it's my fault. The locomotive's engine might not work, it's true, but maybe there's some other way of moving the train. It's a possibility, I suppose. Uh, what were you thinking of, exactly? Uh, nothing. It was just an idea. Anyway, miss, you shouldn't hang around here. I have a job to do. Yes, sir. I feel like I've lost my way a little here. I could really do with your help. Hey, anything I can do, miss, you just let me know. The name Hans Vorlberg doesn't mean anything to you by chance, does it? Oh, do you really think I'd remember one little name from the thousands that pass through this station? It seems that your superiors object to the presence of my train in the station. Not exactly easy going, are they? Uh, well, it's, it's not that they're difficult to please, but I find that the less I have to do with them, the better things are. Give a drift. Birds, more peace for employers. And respect for the regulations. Now that brings peace of mind. All these birds in a station. It's amazing. This is no ordinary station, miss. Oh, no. These birds are part of the prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this aviary has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. And I am not exactly a typical station master either. This little world is my responsibility, and that is no easy task. I can well believe you. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing is to keep interspecial harmony. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the Amazon. Whoa! It wasn't a good idea? A nightmare! You know cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of other species, right? Now what's more, they also push the host's eggs out of the nest so that they receive all the mother's attention, right? Accursed cuckoos. Nightmare! I see what you mean. That's one tricky bird. And there was nothing you could do to stop it? The faculty declared the bird a protected species. If it wasn't for our mechanical eagle, we were sitting on a major ornithological catastrophe. You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. It's an eagle that's mounted on rails in the air. It passes through and it swoops down to collect parasite eggs. But heck, the dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back, and I still have a pain in my spine. Not to mention the vertigo I've been getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Whoa. You poor soul. That must be very hard. The worst thing is, cuckoo eggs piling up in the nests. Soon the rectors are gonna notice. There's trouble in store. Big trouble. 
I'm worried. Yep, worried. Where might I find some forest sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, for someone who knows nothing about the plant, you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Oh, well, I'm Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea, it's all the same to me. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta work. Papua? It's not Papua. Wait, it's don't just go. Papa. You know Papua what? New Guinea, not Papua. I don't think he was being totally straight with me. You think? Gotta go to the wall, I gotta fix something. Is it poisonous to the birds? And he doesn't want to kill the birds? Even though they're killing all the other species? Well. No, the other way. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I am. Nope. Very busy. You don't look busy to me. But, uh, okay, okay. I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry. You don't know where I could find some? Look, lady, the station doesn't have any Sauvignon berries. Not even forest Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Forest Sauvignon. Uh, Sauvignon, raspberries, red currants, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. But you see, I have just read a very interesting book, which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated here, in the famous Baruchstadt University Avery itself. Well, if it's in a book, then... <laughs> don't believe everything you read, miss. Well, that's true. Don't I believe don't everything know you why, read. But I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I don't know. How should I know where to find your stupid grape? Go ask your grape. professor, what his name, Pond, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. Nobody tells me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with the fossil. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barockstadt, miss. I'd rather condescend you. We gotta try talking to the professor again. You know he's gonna try and he's, uh, steer the subject to mammoths. 